we doing tonight, guys? So, we are going to do the book again. And I have a different idea for the book tonight that I'm going to do. It's also going to be Easter-themed. Um, I've got... I've got a really fun idea. So, inside of the book... Um... I'm going to build a little, after the book is cured, and I do the cover, I'm going to build a little mini diorama scene in here pertaining to the cover of the book. So, I've got stuff coming from Amazon for this. I thought I had what I wanted, but I didn't, so I've got a few things coming. Uh, they won't be here until Thursday, so the video won't be here, won't be out probably until Thursday night. Uh... Unless it happens to come early for some reason. But, yeah, we're going to do the book again. I am going to do the pages probably in gold again because I really like the gold pages. And then we're going to pour uh, some mica powder on the back. And then the front of the book will be it is a book cover that says The Tale of Buddy Bunny. I was going to do Peter Cottontail, but I was like, you know, that's copyrighted. So we're just going to give our our bunny's name Buddy. Buddy Bunny. And this is going to be the tale of Buddy Bunny. And when you open the book, inside is going to be a little diorama with a bunny rabbit and a bunch of other little bunny-themed, Easter-themed stuff. And it's going to be inside the book itself. Um... I want to do that with a couple different ideas. I've got a couple different things I'd like to do it with. But I thought that would be fun to be able to sit the book on a bookshelf. And if somebody picks it up to look at the book, because I'll put it on the spine and everything, the Buddy Bunny or whatever on there as well. And uh, if they go to pick the book up to look at it, they'll be like, oh, and then they open it up. Inside is a little miniature scene. Um, yeah, I think that'll be fun. So... I'll put you guys on a pause. I'm going to mix up the resin for this. And we'll, we'll do the lid last. I want to do this first and get this going. So I'll put you guys on pause. Come back. We'll dust the gold on here. Okay, we are back. So we have our book turned wrong side out. Our brush is clean here. And I have Sparkle Gold. It is from the Chang Chang Tikji, something like that. It's it's on Amazon. If you want the link, let me know. I don't have it linked normally, but if you do, I will link it. I love these colors. Very pretty. All right. Yeah, I debated doing gold on the pages, but there's gold in the picture. In the book cover. The book cover I downloaded free off of Creative Fabrica. And then I just added the text myself. Uh, I just looked up Easter, Easter Bunny. And I think that was it. And it just showed all different ones that said Happy Easter and stuff like that. And I'm like, I don't want a Happy Easter one. I just want a tale of the Easter Bunny. And like I said, I was going to do Peter Cottontail. They actually had some that said Peter Cottontail, but I was like, I know he is a copyrighted character, and I don't want to do anything copyrighted, so if I decide to sell it, I don't have to worry about any of that. Not like I'm selling tons of them, and I'd probably never get hit with a copyright infringement, but you never know. And I don't want to take that chance. 
All right. So, I think I got it all here. Oh, nope, I don't have this in. I don't have this in yet. All right. Okay. Let's get our cotton butt out here. Spray some alcohol on the table and rub our cotton swab in it. And we're going to clean this off. Actually, I'm going to cheat. We are fixing to use. Fixing to use our little alcohol paint pen And it coming up. There we go. Now it's coming out. All right. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to get this cleaned up, flip it right side out, and come back. We'll have our resin mixed up and be ready to pour. Okay, guys. So, I got my resin mixed up here. And I've got the color silk blue because it matches the cover pretty good. So... Because I have two days for this resin to cure, I am using my deep core resin. Uh, number one, I got money to get resin, but I just don't have it on my card. So I got to, until I get to the bank to put money on my in the bank account, or my check comes in this weekend, uh, I'm low on my regular epoxy. So I'm going to use this anyway, because number one, it's low on bubbles. Uh, and I've got two days till the inside bunnies and stuff come everything that I'm putting inside gets here so I think I need a little bit more there we go okay so we are going to stir this really really good Get 
gonna stir this really, 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 really good before we pour it. And then I'm gonna come in tomorrow and I'm gonna pour the lid in my clear that I have that's not the deep pour. And it'll all be ready at the same time. The cover and everything will be ready at the same time that the insides come in and I can finish my video. But yeah, I'm excited for that. I've had this idea. I've been wanting to do a diorama forever. And I kept looking at that one of mine and I kept thinking, what could I put in there? It would be treasures of the past or whatever. And I was trying to think of what I could put in there. And I got thinking, oh, there's so many of these that I could do that I want to do. And I'm like... So it's at Easter. What am I going to do for Easter? And I have an Easter bunny mold, but Coral did it, and I've seen a couple other people do it, and I did it last year, and I'm like, I want to do it again. Not right away, anyway. I might do it one more time before Easter, but I was like, what could I do for Easter? And I got thinking, oh, I want to do this book anyway, so. I am excited for this. Cannot lie. Hope I made enough resin up. It is a three to one resin so uh yeah i have five and a half ounces of resin so let's see what we got here i can't remember how much it took for the book part of it Would you look at that? <laughs> Five and a half ounces is what it takes for the base. That is perfect, guys. <laughs> that is too perfect. All right, let's make sure we got all the little nooks and crannies here. I don't want to dislodge too much of that gold, though. I feel like this piece is bowing out here something up against it here. There we go. Yep. That'll work right there. And we're going to just scrape the cup clean here. we go. Very cool. Get my stick off here. Clean off the stick. Everybody's talking about the jalapeno on his stick. I love Jeff Dunham. Love him so much. So funny. So funny. All right. Oh my gosh. Did you guys hear about the bridge collapse in Baltimore? It's horrible. I was watching that and I'm like, my gosh. I used to be terrified of the bridge in Kentucky, going from Indiana over to Kentucky on the west side. There's a double layer bridge. So you go one way and you're on the bottom of the bridge and the other way you're on the top of the bridge. And the bridge is like, it's the Sherman Britain Bridge. It is really, really, really old. And I remember being terrified going across that bridge because I'm like, what if that top layer ever gave out? You'd be smushed if you were going across on the bottom. And, uh, there was one of the bridges that was had that had collapsed or something right around that same time that we moved there. I can't remember. It was one. I, I don't remember where it was at. I can't remember now. But uh, they started checking all the bridges, and sure enough, they ended up closing it down so they could fix it because it was that bad. And it, it was like, we got to close it now and fix it. We can't wait. And I was like, here we have. Here we've been driving across this thing, and it's just. It was scary. All right, guys, we're going to let this cure. Be back tomorrow night to do the, bot, the lid here. And uh, I'll see you then. Bye. Okay, I don't know why that shut off. Of course, it shuts off right when I'm doing something I wanted you all to see. All right, now I'm going to put this piece in.
All right. There we go. Now, my hope is that I don't have any bubbles on the front. Make sure we don't have any bubbles here on the front. All right. Let's get it underneath the edge there. All right. Oops, let's get that out. See the little bubbles coming out? Sorry guys, I'm just shaking y'all everywhere, huh? Pretty close there. side oh yeah nice well let's hope this works guys Alright, I'm going to keep an eye on this for the next little bit, but uh, yeah, we'll be back when this is done for the next round. Bye. Hello, my marvelous muses. How are we doing tonight, guys? So we are ready to finish our book, and I have not been so excited for a project, I don't think, in so long, and... I get excited about a lot of resin projects, but there's some that just really, really, really excite me. And this is one that's just, I'm so excited for this one. I'm going to show you the stuff here in a little bit. At first, we're going to demold, and we're going to take out the cover, because I want to see. And this is what I was talking about last night on my video. That this is an Easter project, but it could be adapted so many ways. If you have a grandkid that's into Barbie, you could do this with Barbie. Uh, you could do it with uh, any of their favorite comic book characters. Um, Dollar Tree has, a lot of times, they have like these little miniatures. And uh, you could get them, you know, little mini, mini Barbie characters or little mini things. Yeah, I got bubbles even after all that yesterday. So, but we're going to work with that. Even after all that. Trying to get keep the bubbles out, it still ended up with bubbles around the edge, but not super bad. And I'm like I said, I'm going to do something with it, so you'll you'll probably never notice it anyway. I want to see how the front did. Oh, that turned out really good. Like I said, I've got this one spot up here, but I'm actually going to go around the edge with some ribbon uh, to make the edge look a little more finished. But that turned out really good. I have a few little bubbles over here, but like I said, once I cover that up with some ribbon, you're really not going to see much of it. But this is our book cover. And it is the tale of Buddy Bunny. Now we're going to take our base itself, the book itself, out. And of course we did the pages in gold. Now 
I did the pages in gold. Now you know you guys have heard me so many times talk about wanting to do a diorama. I've always wanted to do a diorama, but to me, it's kind of overwhelming. I'm not really sure where to start. I'm kind of... I don't know. I just... It kind of overwhelms me. And I'm like... But I want to do one. And I've seen, like, the book nooks that you could buy the whole kit. So, even on Timu, the book nooks are 25 and up on Timu. I mean, for a nice one, you're looking at 40, 50 bucks. And I don't know if I'd even be able to put one together like that. So, I'm, like, hesitant to spend that kind of money to find out maybe that I suck at it. <laughs> that makes sense? I don't know. That makes sense to me. So, I'm like, okay, I don't want to do all that. So, here's our pretty little book. Like I said, we're going to, I'm going to do some decoration on here. But, my main focus is going to be here. So, what we're going to do is, I got a bunch of stuff in from Amazon. And, I have a little bunny holding a carrot. I have a little bench, little bitty miniature mushrooms, a basket. Uh, there's a different bunny with floppy ears down. Um, another little bunny sitting down with the floppy ears. Uh, I've got chickens, little chicks. There's eggs. There's little nests here for the chickens to sit on. There's a little house. The house fits, but when you put this in here, you can't put the lid on. So, the house that I've got, I'm going to use this for something different um, at a later time. And then I got fake grass. So I'm going to cut a little piece of fake grass. We're going to put it down in here and we're going to build a little steam. Fun, huh? Uh, I've also got a couple other little things that we're going to use with it as well. Um, it came with that fence, but that fence is really, really big. So I think I'm going to use one of these little pieces of fence here instead. Um, I've also got some little tufts of grass that I could use. I've got a little plant, little bitty miniature plants here that I could put one of those in there. But I wanted to do the blue background because, number one, it makes it look like the sky. So what I want to do, because I don't have room to put one in here, I'm going to take my markers and I'm going to make a tree. We are going to do a tree in here. Uh, what color green do I want to do? I'll try that one. So I've got my acrylic markers here. My acrylic brush tip markers. So, in the background... I'm going to draw a little tree. This brown is not dark enough. I'm going to grab a different brown. I have another set here of acrylic markers. I have some bigger ones that are a cheaper version of a Posca. try that brown let's see if that brown works any better we might have to use these markers instead we'll see we will see here i'm just gonna set those right there these you have to shake up all right oh yeah much better brown Okay, so we're going to draw what just looks like a little tree here. Some branches coming off. We're going to bring it down to the ground. All right. I'm going to 
gonna come down here at the bottom. We're gonna bring another little one up right here. And basically I'm just making some little squiggly lines for the branches here. I'm gonna go over it again. Looks like this one's about out. That's why it's shaking so easy. I've had these markers for a long time. All right. So we're going to let that dry. But we're also going to take... I'm trying to decide what color I want to do the little fence. If I want to do the fence in white or if I want to do the fence in dark brown... Or if I even want to use it at all. So I have one that I cut down. But I actually think if I was going to use it, this would probably be the one I would use. But what color do I want to make it? I think with the tree being brown in the background, I think we need the fence to be white if we use it I do also have this one here with the flowers but I think that's way too big so we're gonna use this little one here yep, I have a white oh my white's up there I see it I got my white here I'm just gonna use the plastic bag here Kind of a whitewashed look. There we go. That's getting better. tops here not a lot I want a little bit of the wood to show I'm gonna make it kind of look like a little aged fence here well, there we go now I want to do I want to do I don't know if this is gonna work for the tree limbs or not yeah this will work Do the other colors of green to mix in with it.
All right, so we got that. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it or not. There you go. I'm going to take the darker green here. And we're going to use it as well. Out of the other set. Yeah, my markers are running dry. All right. So, that's all we're going to do in the background. Now, I'm trying to decide if I want to put my grass in first and then glue this in. No, I think I'm going to glue it in now. And I am going to I'm going to use my E8000 There we go. Okay. So we're going to lean him up there like that for a minute. I'm going to get the grass out because I think I need to put the grass in next. Got the fake grass here. I think it's so adorable, guys. I'm just... <laughs> this is like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. All right. So. It's a little fake grass. Isn't that cute? All right. So we're going to take right here. Gotta remember to leave room to be able to put the lid on too. So yeah, there's so many things you could do with this. There's so many other ideas I have for this that I want to do. Other books. Um some real, some just ideas for cool books that I could use really neat things in all right so there's my fake grass so I'm gonna e6000 that down or b8 e8000 all right All 
All right, there we go. What do we think so far, guys? So we're going to take our little bunny out here. We're going to see what he looks like. We're going to see what else we want to put in here with him. Uh, I thought about taking the... I've got little white eggs. I thought about taking the white eggs and painting them like Easter eggs. And then just laying them down here in those little bushes. Okay, there's our bunny. I think I want him turned a little more like that. There we go, just like that. Okay, so we're going to take Mr. Bunny and we're going to put some glue on him. Some E6000, or E8000. I don't know why I keep calling it E8000, E6000, because it looks like it. I'll tell you what, though. I will say one thing for this versus the actual E6000. I have tubes of E6000 that are probably three-quarters of the way full, and I cannot get the product out because the tip is always so clogged up. And tell me why they can't do something like this for their tip of their... Because I have had this entire tube. I've almost used... I've used over half of it. And... It's, yeah, I could still open it up and squeeze it right out. Never have an issue. So why can't E6000 do the same thing? I know they have the little ones of it, but they're big, nice, industrial-sized tubes. They just, they're horrible. So I've been using this E8000, and it works beautifully. Oh, look at this. <laughs> ah, guys, this makes me so happy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. How freaking cute is this? Now, do I want to put a little plant down here? Like this. I think I want to put some of these on there. These basically just peel off. Kind of stick on. Okay, that's kind of cute. Now, we have mushrooms I can use. We want to put a couple little mushrooms in here. I think we do. Have some little mushrooms. I have. The little eggs. Yeah, I want to do a couple of the eggs. I'm going to save a couple for another project at a different time. Because I have some other little animals and I'm thinking maybe a farmhouse one or barn at a later time with the chickens and stuff. Okay, so we have one egg here that's kind of a pink. And let's do, there's what, how many? Oh, there's several white ones. So we'll do a white one. Yeah. And will these color at all, I wonder? Let's see if we can color them. Let's see if we can color them with... Let's let that dry. I'm going to do this one speckled. All right.
drop my pen. Take our little cardinal mushroom here. Cute. <laughs> All right. And then let's put our little egg right over here. And let's try a different color on this one as well. We got blue on one end and green on the other. We'll let that dry again. Okay. So what do we think so far, guys? Bring it up here so you can see it. You see that? Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, guys. I love this. I absolutely love this. We're going to let that little egg dry. We're going to put it down in the bottom. I think I'll put it in front of the bunny down there. And I think we're going to call this part good. I thought about putting a little chicken in there, but I think this is plenty. Now I want to pick out what, I, what ribbon I'm going to use around my edge. And I have tons of ribbon. But in this box, I think I have some that might work. So we're going to go through here right quick and let me look. Let's see what we have. That's too big. I think that's too big around it. Oh, I don't know though. That? That's kind of cool. It matches that blue there. Still think it's going to be too much though if I could put it all the way around. I could do that around it. Most of what I'm seeing here. Hmm. Wonder if I did. Could I do two rows of this, I wonder? to piece over the outside edge here.
plastic piece around the whole thing. Come on. There we go. Got it off. So if I did, how do these come off? Let me see how these come off. Come off as a row or? Yes, they do. Okay. I'm gonna try this, see what this looks like, guys. Okay, that's pretty. Let's get it over here though where it needs to be. Okay. Like that. on here right there we go okay I gotta take this off my lap it's falling oh, just balancing it there we go all right Okay, I think now, I think we need to cover this up down here at the bottom and make it line up with this top piece. We're going to make it match, kind of, not match, but... We'll do All right, so we have our little jewels here on the top and on the bottom. I'm going to file this piece down right here so it's 
even. All right, let's put our little egg down here in the bottom. Put our eggy down at the bottom. All right, guys, I think this is going to be good. I'm going to find my lid to my glue now I was bragging about. <laughs> I'm going to find a lid to the glue that I was bragging about so much. That I don't know what I did to with it. What did I do with my lid? Okay, now I don't know what I do with the lid. I was bragging about this lid hard and heavy, wasn't I? And now I've already went and lost it. What did I do with the lid? Well, now I've lost the lid. If you see it, message me and tell me where it is. <laughs> Be like, it's right there in front of you. Can't you see it? And no, I cannot. All right. I'm not going to hold y'all on here while I look for the lid. So, again, my little tree in the background, my egg here in the bush, my little mushroom, the little bunny rabbit. Tell me what you would put in your diorama. If you were going to make one of these, like I said, this could be adapted so many ways. So many ways. I've got some little Jurassic Park uh, dinosaurs. I could make a the history of dinosaurs or something and put the little Jurassic Park figures in there and, and maybe a real little tree, a little miniature tree. There's so many miniatures you can buy now that are just amazing. And this fits cute in there. I think he looks adorable. Um... So this is my Easter, one of my Easter videos here. Like I said, that you could adapt about any way you want to. I love this book mold. And I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of different ones as well. Here it is with the cover on it. And like I said, you got to be sure you keep enough room that you can put your lid on it. I could have put this house in there, but the lid wouldn't fit. And I've got, like I said, I've got plans for this later in the year. We're going to revamp it, repaint it, make it look like something different. But yeah, here we are. The tail of Buddy Bunny. I love him so much. Alright guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, subscribed. Perfect time. Uh, we're making miniature dioramas inside of a book. A story of whatever's on the outside on the inside. And you could set this up. I thought about taking a ribbon putting a ribbon around the back and then tying a ribbon on the front so these lids stay on better when you stand it up it'll stay on like this and you just tie a little bow around it so but yeah cute and like I said the lid goes on just fine but when you stand it up the lid falls off so And I don't want to attach it on permanently. Ooh. Do I know where my hinges are? Okay, we may look for some hinges. Because I may put actually put a couple hinges on here. And I've got a little hook glass. Hmm. I don't know if I want to put hinges on there, though. I kind of like the idea of just a nice, pretty ribbon around it but yeah that's my my uh the tail of buddy bunny he got his carrot he found the eggs and he's living his best life look at that smile on his face so i hope everyone is living their best life i hope you have a wonderful night hope your resin cures beautifully your craft projects turn out amazing 
Hope you are all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.